Hello, everybody, and welcome from Tokyo. I'm Mark Dytham. I'm one of the uh, co-founders of Pachakcha, along with Astrid Klein, who's just sitting around the uh, soundproof petition here in our office. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to Tokyo Calling. Um, we held our last event on the 20th of February, 2020, which is kind of a big, uh, a big number for us. And it's a very big year for us. And uh, this week was our scheduled week to hold Pachakcha here in Tokyo. It's going to be our 170 event in Tokyo. And um, so we've been working feverishly um, around, uh, around the curtain, as it were. And um, yeah, we've, uh, we've held a couple of these already. This will be our third Inspire uh, the World project. And we're really excited uh, that we're coming out live on YouTube. I think we're live on YouTube. I'm just checking. Um, you can't see, yeah, you can see me. Very good, very good. Okay, all is good. We had a little bit of a hiccup to start with. So I want to welcome all of our speakers too, and I also want to say a huge thank you to them for trusting us, and uh, this technology is all kind of new, a little bit, a little bit scary, but we'll get there. So we're coming from Tokyo, and uh, we, have, uh, we have people on the, on the call from uh, Pachakcha Guangzhou, uh, Pachakcha Arlen, and uh, also we'll have a special guest coming in from the UK too during the beer break. Beer breaks are really important, um, and uh, as <laughs> we can't survive without a beer break. So go on, Brian, next slide. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, it's 170th event and uh, Astrid, myself and Hisayama, uh, we all work at KDA. We came up with the, uh, with the format uh, in 2003 um, and it's spread all around the world. In fact, uh, Hisa, uh, you can add the Hisayama, Hisa, um, he actually came up with the name, um, Pachakacha. And Pachakcha means the sound of chitcha in Japanese. Pachakcha, Pachakcha, Pachakcha. So it's an onomatopoeia. Um, yeah, it, it, it's the biggest, uh, the biggest physical social network in the world that you can't pronounce. That's what we like to say. Alex um, is uh, a fantastic uh, friend of ours, and we've known him uh, well. We've known him through his books actually since uh, since we arrived in in Japan, and. Uh, He's had a, a keen interest in the countryside here. His book, Books, Dog, Dogs and Demons, was something that really taught us about how to look at Japan and look at how the countryside is being improved or destroyed. Um, but without further ado, I, I'll let Alex um, uh, start and then we'll have a little conversation uh, at, at the end. That's how we run Pachacha. We don't do a big intro. We um, let uh, the, I'm gonna start my video. Okay, so over to you, Alex, let's get going. Hello, well, thank you, Mark. Uh, this is my and first. Just tell Brian when you'd like to start. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'll forget. Yeah, well, uh, because this is me, uh, uh, 50 some years ago as a little boy uh, in Yokohama and then later in college, uh, hitchhiking around Japan. And I think, like a lot of uh, us, uh, I was looking for the magic. You know, I was looking for this special uh, place in Japan, and I found it uh, in, in a place called Ia Valley which is a very remote uh, end of the world. People live on these steep hillsides. Uh, it uh, was too poor even for rice paddies. And I fell in love with this misty place. And eventually, although I was still in college, I bought a house. Uh, this, it was abandoned, this old thatched house uh, called Chiori, means house of the flute and had uh, these happy years in Ia, thatching the house, living with the villagers. And eventually I wrote about it uh, in, a, in a book called Lost Japan, uh, which uh, really talks about J Japanese village life and what I had loved in Japan's natural environment and, and this kind of Eden uh, of Ia. Uh, but of course, you know, there was a snake in Eden and that was depopulation. Uh, Japan's villages, as I think you all know, are in terrible shape. Uh, deep, uh, the average age is 60s, 70s, even 80s. Forestry and agriculture are uh, pretty much wiped out. Houses are being torn down or just falling down. Um, and until now, there was nothing you could do. We just watched Ia decay. Uh, but there is hope, and that's tourism, sustainable tourism. Uh, now with this tourist boom that we've had in Japan the last years. So we took a group of houses in, uh, nearby us, eight houses, and restored them. And we made them comfortable. We put in, you know, uh, heating and toilets and good lighting and uh, air conditioning and so on. And we rent them out as places for people to stay. 
And what this has done is created a new industry for EO uh, so that we now have young people that have moved in and are working for, for our foundation there. And uh, it's, it's new life uh, for the village. This, uh, we, after doing it in EO, we uh, have uh, then have done it in other villages. We've got 40 some houses by now. And it's not just us, hundreds of these houses have been restored all over Japan by different people. And so this is really the hope for Japan's uh, village life. And it's a new paradigm until now, you know, it was about numbers. A million people came to our town. Well, yeah, but did they spend any money? And what about the damage done to the community? Uh, in Ia, we get 3,000 people a year. We figured out that the income is worth 75,000 of the people in those buses. That little boy there is basically a busload of 25 people. So the thing is though, tourism is a double-edged sword and that's really what I'm gonna talk about today. This is the bamboo path in Kyoto, uh, the meditative calm of ancient Kyoto. You know? uh, but of course you go there and uh, it's a long shot from meditative calm. You know, it's the uh, Yamanote rush and the overwhelming crowds of Kyoto have really degraded uh, the old city. And this isn't Japan's fault or something. This is international. Over-tourism is a worldwide problem and it is really swamped places like Venice. This is Mount Everest uh, last May. Uh, people died in the traffic jam on the top of Mount Everest. Um, and so the problem has been how to manage this. Uh, and management has mostly not been put into place in most places in the world, it's chaos. And the damage can be, comes in many types, cultural damage. This is a Nishiki market in Kyoto where the locals go to buy their fish and their pickles, but no more. Now it's a tourist trinket market where, the, where people buy their matcha ice cream. Uh, and the locals avoid it. Uh, and you, as the, the town hollows out, you get other problems uh, in Japan, especially uh, some weird and, and ghastly signage all over the place, uh, scenic damage as well as environmental. And so the problem is how can you uh, take the good side of tourism and also at the, at the same time try to control uh, the damaging effects. And so although I'm uh, what they call a Japan national tourist ambassador, I ended up writing this book last year called Destroying the Nation with Tourism, Kanko Bokoku. And the point is, tourism is beneficial for Japan. It's our last hope in Ia. Our visitors to Ia are going to save us, but it's got to be controlled and managed. And we need to think about in this new world of ours, in particular post-corona, what does tourism really mean? And what is our impact as travelers? So there's really a new philosophy of tourism as I see it. And uh, for example, Machu Picchu, I always wanted to go there. And now I'm, I won't, I'm not gonna go because I can only be one of those crowds that damage the place. Plus the mystique and, and the exotic magic of Machu Picchu, what am I gonna find with all those people with their Instagrams? So instead, I now want to travel to the little village, which might be in Italy, but there are plenty in Japan where not only can my travel be beneficial to the locals, but where I will find, sometimes put me, ground me more in the local culture than I might ever have been by going to the Zen gardens of Kyoto. Because Ia was my base personally, and I've come to see that it's, it is the base for Japan. And so I think that with this new philosophy, thinking really about our impact and also thinking about how we personally can benefit by travel, I suggest to us all that let's take our next trip to some village. And of course, we need your help in Ia, uh, so please come. And as you can see, there's plenty of social distancing. Uh, so. Uh, this, I think, is our, our new hope. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. That was fantastic. Like it's, uh, like it's always been. We always uh, uh, totally admired your, your efforts in, in, in that, <laughs> that respect. And uh, it, it is so true. I mean, over tourism, it's, it's getting ugly. And uh, 
uh, yes, I think uh, this is this. I think everybody is kind of rethinking. Uh, you know, what does it what does it really mean to them uh, going somewhere, and what is it they want from it? And uh, um, you know, mm. I think I think a certain type of traveler always wanted authenticity, and uh, you know, and the and the calm and the real thing, and therefore, like probably you. Uh, uh, you know, always found the, the, the quiet place, but um, uh, it's all it's always about the money, right? Well, I also think that now uh, we have a really curious situation in that a few months ago it was over tourism, now it's zero tourism, right? So Corona has really put these things in the spotlight. So mm. when it settles down, we're really going to need these new uh, paradigms. Uh, it's not to where we were before. Astrid, can you mute? Yeah. So I think it's it, it is absolutely what you say. It's it's absolutely new paradigm about what what people want. And um, you know, you, we were talking. The reason you're on the call is that we're having that that that, that chat on Facebook, and you put this post out saying right, you know, you know, cases you have, right. um, that all you have. Right. Right. Oh, you're on, I'm muted a little bit there. <laughs> and now I know what it's like to be a newsreader <laughs> with everybody yelling in your ears. <laughs> but no, but I think it's very difficult, not only in Japan, but in Italy, for these, these the, 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 the small towns in the countryside that have relied on t tourism. Uh, those are going to have a, a real big struggle. Yeah? And I think that we have to think, you know, one of the reasons of this Inspire project is to start to think about these I issues that we're having. We want to inspire people, but also there's a lots of issues that we want to bring to the forefront. That, that these towns that have survived on tourism, um, uh, what 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 are they going to do? How how are they going to go forward? And, and is there a way that internal tourism can can help? Um, there are lots of really big questions here, and uh, it's great to have a little chat about that. Well, thanks for the opportunity to talk about it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alex. And uh, sorry for all the little technical glitches. We're going to get there. With this, as I say, this is the third time we've done this. And uh, it's getting better, isn't it, Brian? I want to say a big thank you to Brian at the back in the back room here uh, behind the behind the curtain. Uh, and I can see him on my screen. You can't see him on, uh, on your screen. But he, Brian is going to present later. So uh, he will get his moment in the spotlight. So thank you, Alex. And uh, we're on to our um, next speaker, Brian. And I've got to find my, uh, my deck here. <laughs> it's disappeared. <laughs> so who's up next, Brian? Okay, so up next is uh, is Tachikawa-san. So Tachikawa-san is uh, has a great history with Pachacha. In fact, he spoke at the third ever Pachacha night uh, in about in two thousand and three, and he was a student then. And since then, he's gone on to amazing things, and he's one of the most important designers in Japan. And I really want to thank him for for for, for joining uh, this evening. Um, and amazing things happened, and I don't want to take the presentation away from him. But his invention, uh, his invention from a, a single, a simple, uh, a simple thing like this, uh, into a, into a PPE, personal protection equipment, face mask, has taken the internet uh, by storm. And I want to welcome you uh, to speak tonight. So over to you, Tachikawa-san. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Thank you. We're good to uh, go. <laughs> so just say uh, when you're ready to start, and oh, okay. uh, we'll, we'll start the slides. Yeah. Are you good to go? Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, hello everyone, I'm Japanese designer Eisuke Tachikawa. Please remember me like S and K as SK. Yeah, I'm running design firm called No Designer uh, in Japan. And you know that the, my, mm, uh, you may have seen this ship. Uh, my office is located in the city of Yokohama. Uh, the, yeah, the city where the Diamond Princess had anchored until recently. You know that now is a kind of quite difficult situation around the world right now. There is an invisible threat looming and you can smell it, you can hard to recognize. Uh, it's the greatest enemy of humanity uh, in the past about 100 years. 
Mm, as of today, around 200,000 people have died around the world from COVID-19, the new coronavirus. And some of you may even be grieved by the loss of the loved one. Here, mm, are it? Maybe, oh. Mm. Here in Japan, it was nine years ago that uh, we, mm, yeah, we experienced that the 500 kilometer tsunami hit the coast. Uh, the 311, uh, 311 earthquake killed more than 20, uh, about 20,000 uh, 20, people in an instant and caused one of the worst nuclear accidents ever. And on that day, that the while mm, as a designer, while sh shaking with helplessness, we started the small effort. The idea was to create an open design wiki. Uh, to uh, that uh, that could be used by people in those areas uh, for helping. The, the project named Olive was quickly shared and accessed a million times on that day. And uh, Olive's activity have been published, uh, turned into disaster prevention kits and exhibited and spread in various ways on that day. And after uh, the information provided by Olive eventually led to a book on disaster prevention uh, dis uh, distributed to the whole, literally whole, uh, all residents of Tokyo called Tokyo Bosai, with more than 8 million copies published. What is the point? What is my point is that uh, mm, actually we are not helpless. Uh, we can join force now for sharing wisdom and creativity to solve the problem of the present and prepare for those in the future. Fortunately, that uh, I could know this for my experience of the three levels. And we just started uh, the new project called Pandaid uh, for fighting the coronavirus pandemic, which is inspired by uh, Oli project. But, uh, what we started to make is a kind of uh, open design uh, co-editing website. We started uh, we started Pandate on uh, April 5th, and uh, in two weeks, over 200 volunteers are involved now, and the uh, content is growing every day. So please check it. The site, the website has grown into a collection of information of how we can change our behavior uh, to prevent the spread of a new coronavirus infection. It's actually quite useful and quite, in a way, fun. So yeah, please check. Mm. For example, that the, did you know that the, the distance of social distancing is about the same as tuna? Yeah, you know, Japan, Japanese loves tuna, uh, or one beetles or one tatami mat, or mm, for example, one, one distance of between bicycles. Mm, and you may already know that the virus uh, can survive about three days uh, on the surface uh, on the object. Uh, so very important to clean them carefully. Uh, like this kind of infographic, by sharing such information, we aim to become a world easiest to understand website. Ah, we, uh, I just invented the quite easiest way for making the face sealed. Uh, like you can turn, you, you can turn the, uh, the clear folder uh, with, uh, to the face sealed about 30 seconds. Mm, that video is already accessed about a million times in Twitter and Facebook. Uh, now we are preparing for uh, this pandemic for uh, mm, hopefully eight languages or more. Uh, now we, we have English version and uh, uh, Chinese version. Uh, as you may know that the, the Bauhaus uh, the, was found in 1919. And the last, uh, and uh, one year before that, uh, the one of the largest ep epidemic in the history swept the world. You know that uh, Spanish flu, uh, with between 20 to 100 million people dying by Spanish flu. And now, uh, 100 years later, now uh, we have come to rethink design and creativity and the way we live our lives. 
Mm, uh, can we move beyond competitive isolation uh, to a loving collective knowledge? Uh, I think mm, I think a lot of people listening to this broadcasting right now are very creative people, mm, like participants also. Uh, so I hope let's join us together for pro uh, proving that the creatives are far from helpless. Uh, but the latter have important role to play in the, uh, curing the world. Mm, now we pandate are, look, uh, are looking for volunteers for join us. Uh, so yeah, uh, please join and uh, unleash your creativity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hello, Brian, can you hear me? So I think that the fact that your, your video has been shared more than a million times in the last three or four days is kind of <laughs> amazing you. and the power of the internet. And last week we had Carl Bass on, the former CEO of Autodesk. And um, he was, uh, he, he's been making, he had a really cool idea, making caps. Everybody has these, he's based in San Francisco. And so all these, uh, all these big companies have loads of caps. And so he just clipped a little thing on the front of the cap, you know. <laughs> um, the week before that, two weeks ago, everybody was 3D printing the things that clipped around people's heads. Right, right. Then it went to his caps. And now <laughs> you've trumped everybody by making it from a clear folder. I, I can't gonna get my clear folder here. I, I can't really put it on. I, I, I should get the piece of paper that cuts in it, but I'm gonna get my clear paper here. And, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, but I should cut it. But that's basically what you're doing here. You've done a really cool way <laughs> right. of cutting it. That's a that's that's the ingenuity and the genius that comes out of these very difficult situations, and is exactly what Pachacha Inspire tries to capture and share around the world. So thank you so so much. Uh, for that and uh, you'll be able to see everybody uh, everything uh, online we'll be we'll be sharing these presentations and all the links so thank you so much yes indeed creatives are not helpless at all <laughs> to the contrary positive and off we go <laughs> yeah thank you so much <laughs> thank you well, right, mate. thank you so much okay on to our next uh, next presenter um, I don't have the cheat sheet in front of me oh here it is I've got it now. So we go across to Sam. Uh, Sam Bennett, another oh, yeah. fantastic friend of ours for, for many, many years in Japan. He is a really outstanding musician and uh, a real cornerstone of uh, the Tokyo music scene. And um, Sam's very kindly uh, agreed. I have no idea what he's going to do. Uh, I put the slides into the deck and I've got the right timing on them. So don't worry too much, Sam. <laughs> um, but um, again, over to you. Um, I don't know what you're going to present or say. So um, uh, the 400 seconds, the six minutes, 40 seconds are yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, so uh, my name is Sam Bennett, and uh, I do a lot of music here in Tokyo, a lot of live performances. Up until the coronavirus came along, I was performing quite regularly at various Tokyo venues. But uh, the live shows and rehearsals have come to a halt, of course, and uh, therefore, I've had time lately to dig into some hard drives and revisit a lot of multi-track recordings that I made in the past but never released. Anyway, I've been adding and subtracting bits here and there, mixing them and uh, getting them onto an internet music site called Bandcamp. And tonight I'll just be offering up a line or two, just spoken, from some of the songs that I've been posting there. More than a stone's throw, less than a light year. You were already half long gone. I was standing right about here. Now you've come back around, but a chasm has opened in the earth. Our old favorite place was swallowed up. I don't know what anything is worth. If your veins and vessels don't run right, if your eyeballs itch and swell, if your ligaments move your bones in unpredictable ways, if your thyroid gland goes missing, if your pancreas is hit by a train, this will clear those problems up in a couple of days. People were nice to me in Memphis, even nicer in Duluth. 
But I came back to this big old town to catch a little more abuse. So you see, I'm staying, staying here in this mean old town. And I'll be staying right here till that undertaker lays me down. This old man, he never came rolling home. This old man, he left me an old dry bone. This old man, he did not know his son from sin. Told me the same old lie for years. Told it over and over again, this old man. Listen, do you hear the black cat screeching? Hear him drowning out the preacher preaching. Take me down to where the nighttime lingers. The hoodoo has got about a thousand fingers. I remember when we met, I was hanging by a thread. Honey, you told me my problems were just in my head. These days I'm not quite sure, but I believe I've got a clue that what's wrong with me is the same thing that's wrong with you. You could waltz halfway across Texas, turn your pedal steel upside down, suck a punch a fat policeman over in the rich part of town, take your grandmother to the disco, let her show you how to shimmy and shake. Won't none of it mean a goddamn thing until you sever the snake. America, America, it's such an awesome place where the light of peace and happiness shines down on every face. No one ever fires a gun. We ride on high-speed trains. Our wealth is redistributed across the mountains and the plains. And I thought to myself, hidey, hidey ho, where did my bright, shiny future go? I guess I'm going to be the last to know. Hidey, 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 hidey ho. Now, Jesus had his 12 disciples. They all came to Jesus and said, Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, what in the world are we going to do when you're dead? He said, well, now, every now and then you'll lose a button, so you better get good with a needle and thread. And then you go ahead and do what you're able. That's all you can do. I don't buy the morning paper. I don't read the evening news. If it ain't no news about you, babe, it ain't no news that I can use. Lord, Lord. Bless your pretty bones. Chaka chaka bean singing Bert Bacharach songs. Melody's off and the words all wrong. Chaka bean's neighbor says, cut out the noise. Chaka says, music's one of life's great joys. Chaka chaka bean, chaka chaka bean. Musical genius like you never seen. Wasn't sure if I'd still be here this far past my prime. Now I ain't got a whole lot to show besides a few thousand rhymes. You see that hawk flying above, sailing so free on high? If my soul has never soared like that, can't help but wonder why. He'll say, listen up kids, I don't want no bitching. I'm just paying a visit to your kitchen. Wanna see what your mommy got cooking? He'll kick your family dog while no one's looking. Diamond Dinky Dunko, the dancing clown. We'll turn and tumble, roll and rumble. Let the kitchen walls all crumble. Let the wind forget our name. Inside, outside, it's all the same. It's all the same. This old boat, you know, is taking on water. It's just a matter of time before I sink. See, I'm a captain in need of assistance. Ah, uh, honey, I'm on the brink. And do I deserve to be rescued? Honey, tell me what you think. That mean old coronavirus sure is putting a crimp in my evening. I was supposed to go out drinking with a couple of friends. Won't be as fun to stay at home, you best believe in. Ah, but I guess it's a small price to pay. Better than lying in the ICU a week from Thursday. Hey, 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 thank you so much. 
This has been Sam Bennett. If you're interested in these tunes, after catching a little bit of the isolated lyrics, please come see me at sambennett.bandcamp.com. A whole bunch of tunes up there. You can stream them for free or even buy them for a dollar a piece. Thanks so much for listening. Woohoo! Thank you. What a poet. What a poet. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, love Thanks it. Thanks so much. Love Thanks it. so much. Thank you. Thanks for listening. I mean, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, th this, is, this is true uh artistry genius uh kind oh, of stop flowing it. in stop. your <laughs> stop <laughs> thank yeah you, thank no you. it's awesome it's awesome cheering us up like that yeah many thanks thanks for listening yeah yeah sam sam who, who's that next to you oh this is barney <laughs> That's, Bar and, that's, Bar that's Barney. Come on, mate. Give me, give me a bit more than that. Come no, on. he's an old friend of mine. He helps me write songs. You know, we, we chat. His social, social distancing is, is, doesn't exist between the two of us. We're, we're getting along just famously at very close quarters. Yeah. Is he pulling out his tongue or something? Yeah, yeah. He's sticking his tongue out. Yeah. Right. That's the he's, attitude. He's not, a, he's not afraid of spreading droplets or anything. You know, he's like, more droplets, more droplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thank you so much, Sam. Thanks so much. Um, we, we're gonna go to Hissa over in Yokohama, I think, right? Yeah, now. Oh? Um, what's that? Yeah, yeah, well, we start yeah, again. It's the beer break, yeah. It's the beer break. No, we're not gonna, we're gonna go to the beer break. It's the beer break time, I think. Yeah, beer break. Yes, Mark, beer break, beer break time. <laughs> what, Hissa, did you have a beer there or not? Huh? Beer? Is it? Beer, I don't know. Uh, non, 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 Hi. Uh, <laughs> 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 Is it great? Mike, Mike. Sure, he's Corona drinking. Is all I want to say. I, yeah, sorry, but we have to. Yeah, I wish I. Yeah, anyway, there's an empty glass now. But, um, Sam, thank you very much. Here's yeah, thank you, Mark. Yeah. We're gonna take. A, we're gonna. We're gonna take a five-minute break right now. We're gonna keep talking. And uh, we're going to bring in uh, Ryan. Ryan. Can you just run me through those slides a little bit? Yep. Just a second. Keep going with the slides on that. On that yep, chair. yep, 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 yep. So, um, what's been incredible is, um, you know, we, we all want to get together. Five and minutes. And Patracha has, um, we, yeah. So, you can Wait. go off if you want. I'm going to keep talking. There's, there's some interesting things coming up now during the beer break, which is not normal in Tokyo. We often go for some social closeness. Here, uh, we can't do that. Um, I just want to say a few things that, um, you know, we'd always been nervous about running online presentations, we, you know, especially in Tokyo. If it rained and we were running online, no one would come, you know. But um, this, this has forced us to go online. It's been really interesting uh, what, what's beginning to happen. And so other cities were bringing out some little guidelines and stuff. And so um, other cities are now, so Cambridge will have their 24th Pachacha volume online mm -hmm. on the 30th of April at seven o'clock, which is kind of amazing. And, we, and we'll, we'll explain what, how we're gonna link up with them in a second. The next slide, Brian. And then in Prague, there's 68 Pachacha nights. Okay, these are big numbers, yeah? We're 170 tonight here in Tokyo. Uh, but Pachacha, uh, Prague and the Czech Republic, 68 uh, uh, presentations. And then Leamington Spa in the United Kingdom, uh, they're on volume nine. And um, uh, can you go to the next slide, Brian? And uh, I want to just introduce who's live from Leamington Spa in the UK, Sarah. Hi, Sarah, Hi. how are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm really good, it's lovely to be here. <laughs> What time is um, it with you in London? Um, it is um, 10 to 11 in the morning. So I'm just having okay, a cup so of I, tea in the beer break. So <laughs> I've got 50 minutes to get my presentation. You gave me a deadline of noon to get my presentation <laughs> to you. Because I'm going be yes. to be presenting at three o'clock in the morning, Tokyo time, into Leamington Spa for Jack tonight. So everybody's using Zoom and pushing out onto to, to YouTube Live and Facebook Live. And we spoke this morning, I, well, I fell asleep uh, after I was talking to Tom Quan at two in the morning. I fell asleep, didn't take your call, but you called me at, uh, I don't know what time it was, it was like five in the morning with you. Yeah, and we pieced that's it together. Right. 
And let, let's just tell me a little bit about what how how things go with, with, in Lamington Spa, Pachakcha. Um, well, we I started running it in November 2018. Um, I was going to have a live event just a few weeks ago, and obviously I've had to postpone it indefinitely. Um, and the reason I've got involved with Pachakucha, I'm sorry, Pacha, I should say it correctly. <laughs> With PK, I'm going to say, the, the reason I got involved with PK is because I wanted to connect with people and connect people to each other, which is obviously what you guys are doing right now. And I wanted to continue doing um, during during the lockdown. Um, so we've we've got a group of people together. We've got 11 speakers um, talking tonight, um, ranging from someone who's 10 years old and lots of people who are older than that. Um, and um, we're raising money for um, a group of volunteer sewers. They're called the Warwickshire Scrubbers and they're making scrubs for medical staff. And they're, we're raising money for their materials. So for the fabric and then also for the um, distribution and um, the printing the, the patterns. And we've already raised um, 500 pounds um, and that, that's still going up. So considering we just started organizing this two weeks ago, it's amazing. Um, and it's just really nice to invite the world to Leamington Spa this evening. So it's at 7.15 UK time, which in Tokyo time will be uh, three fifteen in the morning, <laughs> um, but obviously everyone is welcome. Um, you can get the the tickets either for free or with a donation um, through. If you go to PK Lemington on Facebook or Instagram, you, you'll find the info, um, and um, you'd all be absolutely welcome. And um, we will keep it on YouTube afterwards as well um, for at least a week and maybe longer. Um, yeah, so it's just been amazing to 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 meet you guys tonight. This is all, you know, something that's unexpected to me and um until very very recently <laughs> yeah it was unexpected to me until this well, what if, well whatever time we spoke last night it's yeah. a. M. <laughs> the, 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 uh, 11 a.m my time and 5 a.m with you but i think this is the, the most interesting thing is that we've been kind of uh, uh disparate uh organizations but this has really brought us all together so there is a lot of positivity that comes out of uh, this, this corona issue. We'd have never gone this route and nobody would ever gone through this nightmare to connect and push out onto to, to YouTube and everything. You know, it's, it's a bit, it's, if you're trying to tell a city organizer, this is what you have to do, no one would have done it. But because of the situation, uh, it's, really helped, uh, it's really helped us get together. And the fact that I can drop into your presentation or your event tonight and make a presentation Hopefully we'll get the slides in the right order and the timing <laughs> right. But <laughs> uh, Brian, by the way, we, we, we're synced up again now, Brian, so we're all good. But um, it, it's really, really amazing. And um, uh, yeah, I think it's going to bring the community closer together. And uh, we're really interested to hear what you've got to say and what lemington has got to say. And explain what happened this morning or, or, or last night, because every Thursday in the UK, they have a, they have a, like a clapping at eight o'clock. The whole country comes out and claps for the frontline uh, health workers at the NHS, and you were out there um, having a clap, yeah. Yeah. So, chat too? <laughs> um, uh, one of my neighbours who I know saw me standing outside my door, and she was like, "Sarah, Sarah, you need to meet, you need to meet Adam from Number Twenty Five, um, <laughs> and he's um, a medic working in A and E in um, Coventry, in in Coventry, just nearby." And um, he's wearing scrubs made by the, the volunteers who are um, uh, making uh, the scrubs. So I'm describing that very badly. Um, and so it was really nice to meet him. And then he's actually, ho hopefully, it's still not confirmed, he's going to join the call, um, the Zoom event this evening, um, to sort of to say thank you to, to the people who were sewing for, for him. So, and all of the other medical staff, which was amazing in itself. He was really touched by what they were doing and I'd love to get his well, message incredible. out yeah. to everyone. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, we'll be chatting, doing the same thing. Uh, we'll push out the links and stuff a little bit later. Um, Thank you. There's been a bit of a problem here, Brian. I think a lot of people can't get in through that link we put up, but don't worry, we're all gonna be good. Um, so um, is Thomas on the call as well? Yeah. Um, so I put up the next slide, Brian, if you can. And um, so there are lots of things happen here. Um, and 
Yeah, so I want to say hi to Thomas over in Arlen in Germany. Oh yeah, I, no, sorry, I just copied and pasted that in there. So that's why it just says that. I just did that a moment ago, but it's great that it does go across. I, I can actually change it uh, while we're talking. Uh, but anyway, let me just do that. I just, just uh, which slide are we on there? Thomas in, uh, in uh, I was gonna put that Arlen, Arlen, um, if I spelled that right. Yeah. Uh, Everybody thanks, Thomas. Like Thomas, Thomas say hi, say hi from, from um, say hi from, from Arlen. Hi guys. Everybody will hear that I'm not from Great Britain, so, uh, that I'm from Germany. My English you will understand. <laughs> I'm German and I'm from Aden, and Aden is one of the biggest Pecha Kucha nights in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> really <Yeah>. proud. <laughs> so I have to tell the story. Okay, you just just uh, it's a beer break, so we can chat about these things. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we have applications from all around the world. And um, yeah, we grow by about 10 cities a, a month. Uh, as, as you'll find out from Astrid's, present, some Astrid's presentation coming up later, we're in, um, we're in 1,227 cities around the world. And we, have a, we got this email from Thomas, who you can see here. Uh, so Thomas had two pictures, one of him looking like this, but one of them in a policeman's uniform because he's the, he's the copper of Allen. And, uh, he said he wanted to run for Chak tonight. Well, for Chak tonight, it's just for kind of cool, designer -y, funky. But, and anyway, he sent us a fantastic letter how he uses the format in his city to teach kids quickly in 20 slides, 20 seconds. Don't drink, don't do drugs, don't ride your bicycle on the pavement. And he's become a local star because of Chak And um, yeah, that's how Thomas got on board. And he runs one of the most fantastic Chak in, uh, in the world. And Brian, who's, uh, who's, uh, who's poking at the back there. Brian, why don't you say a few things? We went across to Arlen and had a really fantastic uh, time with Thomas and the whole city comes out, the mayor comes out and really does make a difference in their city. Well, I had, um, I, I was very lucky. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was very lucky to, um, so Arlen is, is, is a unique city because it's, it's the, the way it's spelled is A-A-L-L-E-N. Is that right? A-A-L-E-N, -A right? Double A at the beginning. So uh, uh, I was asked to present at, at uh, Thomas's Pecha Kucha Night and there was a giant crowd and it being the, ty the type of city it is, which is like, the, it's the only thing or one of the only things to do that particular week, that it was a huge crowd and uh, I was, of course, making my slide at the last minute. And uh, I took that old I Heart New York uh, logo that we all know and love so well. And I changed it to I Heart A A, I Heart Alan. And, and my first slide, I got on stage and I said, before I start, I love Alan because we had such a nice time. And I got the biggest roar of applause. <laughs> and it was so nice. So it was a great memory. And I got right. a bright presentation. I got Brian's presentation two minutes before he started. <laughs> Just well, like that... tonight, man. <laughs> this, <laughs> a bit of a... this is the <laughs> this is the thing that makes Pachacha okay. I, in fact, Astrid and Hissa were the last people to put their um, uh, presentation in the deck, and I think that's why it didn't sink properly. Mark, uh, don't, don't Kawasan... throw them under the bus like that. <laughs> Do not throw them under the bus like that. <laughs> That is not fair, okay? It wasn't my <laughs> fault. It wasn't Astrid or no, Hisa's no, fault. No, it was actually my fault, Brian. But that, that's yeah. what makes Pachacha Pachacha, you know? And they did a great <gasps> job. Their presentation's coming up at the end. And I think, Brian, we're still synced, yeah? This I same collaborate. We have any... Oh, All right. So as everybody, uh, um, as everybody... So, so thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for joining us from Leamington Spa. A uh, big thank you to you, and I look forward to joining you uh, at 3 a.m. in the morning and giving the presentation <laughs> to Lemsa. But that's that's what's been amazing with this uh, with this 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 issue that it's allowed us to get closer together, and cities can present. And uh, later coming up, uh, we have uh, Lana from um, uh, Lara from from Stuttgart and Allen. That's why Thomas is on the call. So he suggested he had a really great speaker that should be on our on on our uh, on, on our call. And then we have Tom Kwan speaking uh, towards the end uh, from, uh, from Guangzhou, you know, and another great Pachacha city. So we could never connect cities like this before. So it's really, really great. 
that you could join us for a few moments. You have to go off to work now, I'm sure. But thank you so much, uh, Sarah, and uh, speak to you at 3 a.m. in the morning, Tokyo time. Thank you. See you guys soon. Okay. <laughs> so the beer break is officially over. <laughs> and, um, uh, Mark, where are we, Brian? You're, uh, I'm, um, you're, the slide here at the end is, not, is still not fixed. The Mark okay, and you're, going I, to top, you're going back to welcome back now? No, no, no. I'm saying the Mark, uh, Hisa, and, and Astrid. Right, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out while we're talking. Yeah. Okay, I hope so. So, so it was my fault, yeah, that mess up. <laughs> well, it was, it, it, it's a collective, it's a collective <laughs> effort. Collective effort. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and so. Sylvie. Sylvie's out. Sylvia well, and Keske. Here we go. Uh, sharing screen. Okay. So welcome back. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at another screen here. Hold on one second. I'm going to just pull that up. So welcome back to part two. And um, it's a, a, my great pleasure to introduce some, uh, some more great friends from Tokyo. Uh, Tamura-san and uh, Sylvia. <laughs> who yes. run uh, this amazing platform called, or platform called Tokyo Platform. <laughs> and they've been looking at stations and mass transit in Tokyo for many years. And the reason I called them up is that obviously mass transit is gonna be no longer mass transit. <clears throat> and I'm really interested on their thoughts about what this, the impact this has had on the city. They've, mm -hmm. they've put this presentation, presentation together in, in less than two days. <laughs> and uh, I saw the site slides beforehand. They're absolutely insanely beautiful. And uh, we're really interested to hear what you've got to say about how Tokyo is going to cope in the future. It's so my turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to give the will. slides? Yeah, me. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Hello. Over to you. Hello, here uh, the Toyoko line train to Shibuya station, always crowded, but this time was almost empty. It is April 2020. Our investigation in Tokyo is based mainly on mega structures. Last year we organized the exhibition called All Yamanote Line 29 Stations Models. Each model is composed by only platforms and connection passageways. Long, short, spacious, narrowed, all different kinds of shape. Here, the model of Shibuya Station we have done. Shibuya Station has 2.5 million passengers per day. Uh, just imagine the 2.4 million population of Paris in France. But Shibuya Station was not built in one day. The sequence of Shibuya Station model has been developed gradu gradually until now, from 1885 by 2020, and still is growing on according to its geography, history, society, politics, and uh, of course, flowing of people. In 1955, a new job was established on the platforms of Shinjuku Station. Their job was to push passengers into the trains as much as possible until out of the capacity. They were agents of pushing in culture. Uh, in Shibuya, all urban Our programs like, like station, station theater, theater department, department store, store, subway, bus stop, roof garden, were packed in one white box building, all in one. The floors were multi-layered like bubble. The principle of construction was the same as pushing in passengers. Inside of the train, the jump packing idea is equal to the effectiveness and the rationality. In Tokyo, user trains are so crowded every day. The centrism of capitalism is represented by the high-rise building next to the train station. Squeezing and pushing in play the same role as in the urban scape. The same principle has been applied by uh, the contemporary intensive pigs farm. 
where thousands of pigs are packed per floor and kept in vertical buildings, squeezed pigs to feed the humans at low cost and high profit. One day, the invisible coronavirus made itself visible by showing the empty shelves at the supermarket. It started with toilet papers and later with food. We suddenly jumped into the movie Contagion, bringing us into as the main actors at once. An open air ceremony of elementary school was held not in the auditorium, but outside under the sky. The untouchable social distance, which might stop the Tokyo train's transportation, suddenly popped out visually. Tokyo Olympic game was decided to be postponed. This is a new countdown in Tokyo Station Square. Now people start doubting even the possibility of the postponed Tokyo Olympic game. The government emergency declaration was released finally. The prime minister said to refresh minds in the park and people started to have, uh, now park is one of the most dangerous coronavirus cluster hotspots in Tokyo. Let's move to the station. This is the model of Shinjuku station, which is the busiest station in the world recorded in the Guinness book. 3.5 million passengers every day. 3.5 million is the population of Berlin in Germany. Now in the weekend, 85% passengers decreased in Shinjuku station south gate. You can see what happened in the, uh, in the south gate of Shinjuku station. Here is a Shibuya station square in front of Hachiko statue. You can see on the right, there is a statue of Hachiko. Hachiko became as the most star attraction within these 10 years. There was crowd of people from early morning to late in the night. Now Hachiko is waiting for you and stay at home. A new Hachiko gate was opened to reduce the congestion of Hachiko gate passengers, but it is now useless at the moment. There are no crowd to deal with. Empty gate. Worldwide famous touristic site, Shibuya Scrambling, Scramble Crossing became empty like Times Square in New York. Without crossing people, it is not scrambling anymore. It, lo uh, it lost uh, its identity. The job Oshia has another way of controlling the congestion. You can see the left man is pushing in and the right man is pulling out. Pulling out might be the next COVID-19 strategy. All premise that make up the city was denied by the coronavirus. Under the social distance, this Shibuya station model is not the form for 2.5 million passengers every day for sure. We have to redesign stations and cities how to live with coronavirus. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia and Tamura-san. Fantastic as always. It, it always puzzles me uh, how you have this three-dimensional mind in kind of getting the this labyrinth of stations kind of uh, worked out in a in a in a proper physical model. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, it, it's uh, it's it's magic somehow, it's kind of. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, you know, it must be even uh, more bizarre now that uh, all these places are are empty. They more they look even more like your model now because yeah. <laughs> yes. exactly exactly. This is why we talk. <laughs> voice thing. <laughs> Finally, the void has a, a right uh, position in the society. 
Mm. <laughs> we didn't consider it so much until no, now. No, void is positive now. It's a void yeah, positive. that is negative uh, 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 kind of connotation, but now void is like good. <laughs> good. <laughs> So now, yes, that's uh, that's kind of a, a, a an Ill, really interesting topic. How what what will ha- what will happen to stations? What uh, what will go? What, how will we but go the station, on to trains anymore? I was thinking about the distance because uh, if we have to keep the social distance like uh, around two meters per person, how big should be the stations, for example? <laughs> Yeah, how big or should the train? You know, you get your personal train carriage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, nice. I, I shouldn't be saying this, but I, uh, I, uh, ironically, uh, you know, it's uh, we talk about physical distancing. Yes. Uh, you know, to meet us between people, but you know, people are still using the train, and they're they're not keeping away two meters mm. from each other. And uh, so no wonder, uh, you know, as long as as long as the trains are running and the buses are, are, are running, I, I see uh, I, I would find it difficult to to uh, see a proper, you know, end and decrease to to this uh, pandemic. Um, so uh, there'll there'll always be uh, you know an, an, another one on the train, and it, it'll just keep going. For once, the habit is difficult to change at once. Mm. So maybe we have to degrees. Gradually. Right, right. Mm. So right now, uh, people who uh, uh, cannot come to uh, the office uh, with their own private means, like, uh, you know, bicycle, Mm. motorbike or car, uh, we have them working from home. And... uh, uh, just to Bicycle. totally avoid public transport or, or, or you know, practicing basically self-isolation, but uh, more more in the office, you know, it's kind of uh, everybody has a desk somewhere else and uh, we kind of <laughs> shout across the office. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's interesting, we, 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 the rule is no public transport, no taxes um, um, and no eating out. No new friends, and yeah. so we run. As five or six of us got off the cars in the office, and we run around pick people up. I go, I drive down to, to Hissa's house in Yokohama. Yes, it's a 35, yes. 40, 45 minute drive every morning, and then drive back to Tokyo. We both wear masks in the car. In the car, <laughs> yeah. It's a very, very important thing that masks are. We, we, Astrid is around the corner. We've been breaking the rules a little bit, but. <laughs> I think the masks have really changed uh, uh, the, the amount. That, so Tokyo is fairly flat, to be honest. And we've only had 250 deaths. I know it's a lot, but it's not, it's not massive. I think the masks help a lot. And I, we were on Dizine last yeah. week. And I think that but the fact that we don't shake hands, that we don't yes. have public kissing exactly. and hugging and that stuff. Right. And we use sanitizer a lot. And somebody, Torsten from Project Chicago, was showing a picture when he was in Tokyo in 2003 in the winter with us. And everybody had masks on, on the train. And he took the picture because he was shocked that people were wearing masks. They wear masks no. so they don't give their cold to other people. It's not that they don't protect themselves. And so I think this, this habit of, of masks, and we have a lots and lots of boxes of masks here. <laughs> so um, it's interesting. And I think that in, in, in the UK or the US, um, you know, there's, a, there's something that it's, it's not called cool to wear a mask. And here in Tokyo, you, as you know, it's, it, it's on public, on mass. We have culture. culture. Yes. Wear a mask. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Japanese has a social distancing <laughs> in the DNA. DNA. <laughs> well, yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah, so where's your mask, man? Put your mask. Uh, you on. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, no, <laughs> <Yokohama> <laughs> <here> mask <time. laughs> we have to take some culture from mm-hmm. Japan to Europe. Mm-hmm. I can put this on if I want. But yeah, anyway, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Our, Thank you. On to our uh, next presenter. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for doing this in such a short... When did we speak? We spoke uh, We spoke a few days... Uh, two days ago we spoke. So thank you so much for doing that. So on to our presenter from Stuttgart via Arlen and uh, Lara. And uh, 
when we were chatting with Thomas online, um, we were talking about uh, if you've got a presenter that you could uh, present, and it's what's so amazing is I'm going to just kill that voice. There, um, is is we can we can we can connect with people around the world in these in these uh, projection presentations, these projection nights, and we've never been able to do that before. And so it's really great for me to introduce Lara, who's a student, architectural student at the University of Stuttgart. And I didn't know until really this morning what she was going to talk about, but it is actually so relevant. And so, Lara, over to you. Hey, thank you. Um, and salamat let us know you want to start the slides. Are you ready to start? Oh, yes. Um, do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you and we can see you too. Over to you. Perfectly. 20 slides are yours. Okay. Thank you. I will start now. Uh, salamat malam. Sometimes, out of a disaster comes something new and beautiful. Our project uh, began with the earthquake in Indonesia in 2018. The epicenter of the earthquake was in the north of the island of Lombok. Almost 80% of the building were destroyed. We, architecture and civil engineering students from the University of Stuttgart, started to think about rebuilding the school SD Islam Chabadu al Hichar uh, in Rampak. We believe that education is the most important thing for every child in the world. So we didn't want to build a normal school, but a special and important building. Our final design, a building completely made of bamboo. Why bamboo? Bamboo is the most sustainable building material for areas like this. It's long lasting and also um, it absorbs the reparations of an earthquake. Planning the project was not always easy. In addition to the design and work planning, we also had to take care of the financing and advertising for the project. Moreover, we had to take and pass our usual exams at the university. And here you can see our lovely team. Um, it consisted out of locals, Indonesian students and the best craftsmen in the world from our bamboo and us Stuttgart students. We all lived with the major and a coffee dealer, Abba Sumadi. Uh, we lived by, near by the building site and here you can see the building site. It was in the middle of the jungle, like 3,044 hours on foot from Stuttgart away. Um, Lucky us next to a kiosk with a freezer full of ice cream. Um, the most important tools, I think, were the sharp knives from the craftsmen. Um, here you can see the craftsman Peter, who is carving a fish mouth uh, connection from a bamboo. I don't have to say that we German cut ourselves at least once a day. Uh, maybe that was because we have no security precautions at all at the building site, as you can see. <clears throat> Communication was a little bit rough. Sometimes we mixed up left and right. Uh, on the one hand, this was due to the fact that there's not only one Indonesian language in Indonesia, but almost every one of the 70,000 islands has developed its own language. And of course, our English wasn't always perfect. Um, the children on the side um, were the biggest motivators for us. They were always pretty excited when we used the circle saw um, because then they are allowed to carry one piece of work to the building. Um, sadly, the children were not allowed to come to the school in the second week I was there because of Corona. Um, due to uh, our unusual architecture, we had to redesign details again and again. We were particularly concerned about the central support in the building. Um, to be honest, we weren't always sure if the building would hold after the middle pillar was removed or if we could finish the building at all. Um, as soon as one problem was solved, the next one appeared. The Indonesians are also concerned about removing the central pillar. Long discussion started um, 
You can also see in the picture how the pandemic COVID-19 is slowly creeping into Indonesia uh, in mid-March. Yeah. Uh, concerns and COVID-19 couldn't stop us. Um, of course, we cut off the middle pillar because we are architects and we know what we are doing. Um, and the building was still standing and you can hang on it. And this was the best day uh, on a building site so far. And also it was the last day on the building site. <clears throat> on the island, we always used our scooters. The rule was one scooter has been driven by one Indonesian guy and on the back seat, at least one German guy sitting because we don't have enough scooters at all. Um, and the streets weren't always that bad, like on the picture. Um, as European, I'm not used to like rice for every meal, uh, but the whole time we were very healthy and strong for the building site. Um, thanks to our host mother, Umi, um, we are able to enjoy traditional Indonesian food uh, every day. Um, by the way, the finger sign means a lot. <clears throat> We built the school during the rain season as the temperature are uh, middle then. Therefore, over lunch time, it always rained cats and dogs like for two hours. And during a tropical rain, there's nothing to do except wait and carve bamboo sticks. Um, nevertheless, in the morning and in the afternoon, we could enjoy the sunshine. We worked every day until 5 p.m., like for eight hours. And then we laid in the sun or we go to the beach um, or sometimes we slept like until the dinner time. Mm. And the best evening was when the locals took us out for night harpoon fishing at a campfire on the beach. We ate blowfish, crab and coral fish. I was very afraid to eat blowfish because of the poison, but the locals said no problem. And like every time I trust them and the fish was amazing. Sadly, we had to return to Germany early because of COVID-19. Um, still, I'm touched by the hospitality of the locals and the energy of all involved. Um, I'm very happy to build up a beautiful school. Um, three Magazi, stay healthy and greetings to Abba Somali, Umi, and our bamboo and fellow students. Thank you so much. Oh. Wow. Oh. This is Wow. Beautiful wow. presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lara. And uh, this is uh, probably the best study you had over your your, your whole uh, uh, study. And uh, not only that, you did something really useful. And uh, best of all, you probably made friends for life. So uh, that was just amazing. Yeah, I hope they see the, the thing on YouTube now. I sent all craftsmen and our host family the link wow, so watching wow. Yes. yeah yes. and yeah just always take that pillar away in the middle okay that's what architects do you're absolutely right there <laughs> <laughs> Are they in the sprout for Lara? Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> no, but it is, it, it is really amazing. We can connect with, uh, can you hear me? I, with our other cities around the world like this. And as I said right at the beginning, um, this was a big, big, uh, big issue for us. And Brian and everybody knows that, that, that we were worried about putting, and Astrid especially. Astrid doesn't have a Facebook, Instagram account. And uh, she's very analog and, and putting things online was like a, a big disaster, you know, and, and, and this is big because we can't go outside because we can't connect has brought us together in a much stronger way than much stronger way than we ever thought possible because, uh, you know, we can bring people in from around the world like like Thomas, Lara and Tom. And uh, Sarah in Leamington Spa. Leamington Spa, that's where I went. And uh, Leamington Spa, okay, we were chatting with Lara. This, I was chatting with Lara this morning at 5 a.m. her time. That is my first school trip was to Leamington Spa swimming pool. It's a Victorian swimming pool, which since has been ripped down and turned into a car park. But, but that was my first trip as a, as, a, as, a, as a school kid, you know. And the fact that we can bring all these people together and have this a really amazing night uh, is fantastic. And I'm going to be talking, as I say, Astrid, that's your phone there going. <laughs> um, anyway, over to our next presenter. Thank you so much.
oh how, how do i how do i start here how do i start with this okay how do i start lewis and you can um it's yeah. it's kind of difficult uh lewis is a really amazing friend and he's been a big advisor for Pachacha over the years and i'm really sorry if we broke your graphic guidelines tonight but lewis set up a lot of really important things with us um and i think we've also supported lewis as well uh, it's been it's been both both ways um but what he's done recently is really exceptional and um i want to hand it over to to lewis and yuka who uh, are really beginning to change tokyo and i think there are many lessons here for for how cities can uh evolve in this in this area of, of pandemics thank, thank you mark i think uh we might be interrupted by a baby because she is kind of <laughs> 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 but you know this is uh, the risk of the of having a baby and doing a presentation like this uh but you know I, I, we are very grateful to to mark and astrid and, and the whole Pichacucha family are we gonna do a presentation now or are we gonna chat yeah uh luis, Tell Brian. luis <laughs> uh, uh, the 20 slides are yours okay here we go <laughs> <laughs> hi <laughs> hello everyone uh this is yuka and luis, luis. Uh, together, we run a creative residence called Almost Perfect in Tokyo. And it's a creative residence. You might think of what is that, a creative residence? There's a baby. <laughs> creative residence is uh, it's actually like an artist residence that you can go and, and spend some time creating. But we didn't want to make it only for artists because we think that will be too small and will be, people will feel uh, left out. So we wanted to, create, to do it for everyone. Everyone who is a creative is welcome to come our house in Tokyo and uh, create. So we have a place to stay, uh, a room to work, and an uh, exhibition space to make a, a show at the end of the of the stays. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what we do. Give me the baby. So the baby. yeah, this is baby's a mine. space for uh, maybe you know take some time for yourself. And if you're creative, working you know like a illustrator, designer, writer, or even entrepreneurs. They have come and spend some time with us so that they can dedicate the time, you know, um, and focus them that the time only for themselves, not for clients, not for you know other daily routines. So that's what we are for. Um, so it's like a um, mini sabbatical. Yeah, yeah, mini sabbatical. And this is our gallery with uh, two rice machines actually, because this house used to be a, a rice shop. It's almost about a um, hundred year old, which is quite old for Tokyo. And on the back of this, we have a big white wall so that you can hang up your works there. <laughs> so much I have something to say. Sorry. So <laughs> Stefan, Stefan Sagmeister is, is our friend and uh, he, he uh, takes a break uh, once every seven years. He takes one year off. And it was very, always very inspired to hear him talking about taking a break and how important it is to take a break. Uh, and we thought, can we do something with that? Like, yeah make this break possible mm -hmm. so for stefan he says this one year break makes him closer to design again because you know like you kind of be get, getting busy uh, all the time with all the you know emails and stuff and don't really really thinking of fundamentally what you are doing so this is our uh, resident jerry cody she's from canada and she had this idea of making 30 uh, portraits of japanese women who changed the world and she um, finally had time to do it. And then she spent uh, some time with us and did this exhibition. It was very uh, successful, it sold well and gave her lots of confidence actually, so that, so that she can kind of pursue this way of working uh, going forward. And this is Oscar Kneppers. Um, he is an entrepreneur from Holland. He had, um, he had like a lot of startups and he sold the uh, companies but now he is not lost, but you know, he needed time to think uh, what's what the to next? Yeah, what to do next. And he said, uh, he spent six weeks writing and thinking. And in the end of the stay, he had this uh, event to share what the findings were. Yeah. It so, was uh, basically like a take time, uh, go slower, good things will take time. That was his findings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Catalina is our friend from Spain. And she, she's a watercolor artist. and. 
Uh, she's pretty amazing that the way she mm. she creates is very free and very liberated. Mm. But she needed a, a, a time to to dive into Japan and to enjoy um, mm. the whole Japanese culture thing. Yeah. Um, so that was uh, some artists did this uh, to kind of deepen what they were already doing, mm. you know, or accelerate their careers. Or some other artists they changed this chunk of time to redirect or reinvent themselves in a creative way. So Jen Ravenna, she already had a successful career as an illustrator, but she wanted to do more cinematography. Actually. So she, uh, she dedicated this whole uh, time to make this one short film called And Then. And this is a still from the film. And basically uh, um, a lot of the scenes were shot in almost perfect building. And it was very beautiful. <clears throat> and this is the tweet actually. Um, Jen did um, in one of the last nights she was staying here. And this is, uh, we are really happy to see this tweet because this is actually why we started Almost Perfect in the first place. So she was kind of feeling stuck and stagnant in her career, but doing this residency revitalized her, you know, or like she can, you know, again, she can be motivated and so excited about, you know, what she's doing. So in the creative lives, I think sometimes people need this kind of time, you know, to reflect on yourself and, you know, think what you really wanted to do, you know, things, uh, things like that. And we've kind of witnessed with our resident that this, uh, you know, dedicating yes. time. You know, Brian, I think this, there is something with this uh, slide you have to click, I otherwise you won't go can, on. Uh, yeah, click again, <laughs> click again. Can keep talking about this slide for. That's like, maybe my fault. Sorry, man. No, it's okay. It's okay. That, no, there was something with. We you. had an advantage of like extra. I don't know. Yeah, we have ten seconds extra. Ten seconds extra. Click again, Brian. Oh, we can. I, I can keep talking about this tweet. <laughs> <laughs> that tweet was amazing. Yeah, this tweet was. Uh, yeah. yeah it really okay, melted Astrid. our hearts. Astrid. Yeah. So Astrid, Astrid Schemelt, she is a graphic designer. graphic designer from Germany. But again, uh, Astrid also used this time to uh, reinvent herself. She was a graphic designer, but she wanted to do more uh, illustration work. So she did this project called In Between and, and document this whole process of transition. And Marcin Zeglinski, again, uh, he is an animator. From Chicago. Uh, from Chicago in America. And she, uh, no, he uh, wanted to do more illustration work. And he walked around Tokyo and made lots of uh, works. And uh, he had his uh, first exhibition at Almost Perfect. So, yeah, that was really And Gonga nice. is an amazing and interesting character. He had been an illustrator when he was very young, but he couldn't continue because he became an architect. And he lost the illustration. And he was an architect and was very famous and big and getting a lot of jobs. So he would never draw again. And now he's doing a trip around the world. And one of the stops was to stay at Almost Perfect and draw and make an exhibition. And uh, it was very funny to see how, how in inspired he got by the fact that he was allowed to draw only, you know, illustration, no, no buildings. Yeah. So, so I think this uh, quarantine time, so I think a lot of us are kind of confined in, at home and probably have not. more time. <laughs> So why don't we do something like this? You know, like we have this chunk of time. So if we can get disciplined, you know, yeah. so we the, can do kind of almost like a self residency or. So the idea is that, <laughs> the idea is that you can, instead of coming to Tokyo, which is uh, now impossible, uh, you can do the residency from your own home. So we are offering uh, my art direction so that we lead you through the process and uh, we do the whole residency, but in your home and we are here. And then at the end, we will do an exhibition in Tokyo when things get better. So that's the distance residency. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, really amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I, I really can't say enough about what you just said. Mm -hmm. And we all have to think about new ways of, of connecting in the world. And this is one <laughs> of them, what we're doing tonight. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is, it's really, really amazing. But um, what you've done in Tokyo to build this um, um, this space where anybody can present and have a residency is really important. But the physical residency can't potentially happen going forward. So we well, can. But um, what you're doing is really amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We, we, we hope that, you know, like... Uh, 
to me, like I, I was an art director for many years and, and it's so beautiful to see the people flourish, to see the talent not getting wasted. And I know people have been an architect for 30 years and suddenly they are allowed to do what they wanted to do. Uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm looking to anyone. Maybe you want to. <laughs> no, but what I want to say, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. hey. <laughs> no, Lewis. Lewis, uh... Lewis, Lewis <laughs> what I want to say is, so I, I contacted Lewis about this presentation. He said, I'm way too busy. I'm doing something for the New York Times or some massive thing, you know. And yeah. then um, I think Yuka, being, 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 you know, the uh, lovely, lovely, uh, supportive uh, wife in this situation, said maybe maybe we should do this because it is important about how we go forward and i think what you're doing is is, is really important and the fact that we can connect like this mm -hmm. is is important for not just for us or pachacha or for, for almost perfect but for other people but we need to be really honest and open and there's lots of bugs tonight but that's kind of the best thing about it that we can be be human and connect. If we can't connect like this, then we can't connect uh, physically, you know, so. That's true. Yeah. Mark, really? you need to say one more time, amazing. <laughs> uh, well, it's better than incredible. Uh, <laughs> anyway. uh, is that, sorry, Louis, Louis, Louis. There's sorry. no way we can shut Louis. Mark up, you know. Sorry, Louis, I'll let that's him. Right, it's 20 slides, 20 seconds for everybody else apart from me. Louis, is that is that a background you've got there or is that where you really are? No, 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 it's a, it's a background. It's a background, a photo of our <laughs> Oh, you're such a cheat. <laughs> we are isolated at home, so we cannot be at almost perfect. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And um, let's find ways to fill your residency. And I think I really want to connect you and Alex, because I think what bringing people over to Japan and uh, they, he has lots of spare rooms. So um, <laughs> as I, I texted to Alex earlier, that, that that's, I think, We've got to find very nice ways to do that. So thank you oh, so much. Mark, yeah. I was listening to that and thinking, wow, that's like Ia in the city. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we really like your talk, uh, Alex. We, we, let's get in touch. Thank you. No, I think that I, I, I can't believe uh, what, how, what the potential is there. So, so over to uh, Tom Kwan. Tom runs Pachak Chennai in Guangzhou, Guangzhou in China. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, Tom is it has really changed what Pachacha can be in China. And China is a very last night I was on a call to 100 WeChat groups with Tom, and uh, he's a very very special person. But he's he's deeply rooted in literature and books, and that's how we first connected. So um, I'm going to hand it over to you, Tom. And, thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, everything you do. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Mark. Louis, I will, okay. Uh, November 29 last year was the 10th anniversary event of BKN Guangzhou. Thank you very much, uh, Astrid, Mark and Brian for coming from Tokyo. After this successful event, we had many new PKN fans. Uh, within very short three days, they came to Guangzhou. We arranged many activities, one after another. It is so beautiful to recall them now. Thanks again, Astrid, Mark, and Brian, always. In January 2020, we knew about the PKN International Day event, we immediately decided to participate. At that time, the event was the theme was uh, about PKN for kids. We had already talked about very detail, but suddenly the uh, epidemic began to us. People became very, very nervous. We decided to host another uh, an online event, the same was moving towards the light. It has only two weeks away from the PKA International Day. In fact, we have to walk from home at that time. We have a lot of online meetings to prepare everything. And finally, we have uh, nine speakers from different cities. 
uh, among the nine speakers, the youngest is 10 years old. Her name is Le Le. Her sharing was really amazing and very touching. You can see her presentation on PK Create platform. She speaks Chinese, but has an English subtitle. We use the WeChat groups for live broadcast and use the robots to uh, make them together, uh, three WeChat groups. We had 1,300 participants. That was very feedback, very good. We had a long, longest spring festival holiday in history. When the official announced the delay of spring festival holiday, everyone was very happy at the beginning. But now many people are very sad. You know, they're still in holiday. What a real difficult time. Uh, uh, yes, um, I have a. I have a physical working table in, at home. I've become a real Soho. Uh, so you guys can see the table I'm doing my presentation now. I still walk with my dog every morning for 10 years. The difference is that I definitely wear a mask. I don't like it at all at first, but now I'm very used to it. Wearing a mask, uh, become a new normal for everyone. After, after working with my dog, I also do some sports training. And when no one around me, I will take off my mask. You know. Uh, well, so many. Uh, at home, I have many times, I do a lot of indoor cycling training uh, almost every day. And it's also a good way to killing time. So uh, many marathon and the triathlon has been canceled or delayed. Ironman launched online game in time. I participate and enjoy the online games at home very much. It's good for me. So the logist system in China is really strong. After the outbreak, my family and I deeply felt the convenience of the logistics to our daily life. We love it. We love it very much. In big cities in China, you can fully enjoy the convenience of the logistics. You cannot, you cannot imagine how fast you can receive your uh, food, fast food, food, drinks you buy within half an hour or one hour or half a day, very quickly. Logistics has uh, extended to reach the mountain area and some far, very far area, it directly transport the farmers' uh, products to all parts of China. Uh, we order some farmers' products in Xinjiang, Yunnan province. This is very far away. And the price, very, the price is very, very uh, reasonable. The drone has been applied in some very special places, such as island, mountain area, and some places the transport is not very inconvenient. Now, uh, we must wear a mask when, you, when we go out. Mask have become a very necessary uh, of life and become a fashion, but I don't like it very much. I hope we needn't it very soon. I had a plan to travel to Japan twice this year. One of them was to watch uh, the Tokyo Olympic game. However, it is uh, my plan is gone, but I will keep it and realize in 2021. Wow, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Woo. Oh, and, wow, uh, thank you, man. Oh, uh, boy. If it weren't for Pachakcha, <laughs> we would yes. never have met you. And I'm kind of uh, so, so proud that 
uh, you know, we 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 have uh, we had the chance to meet so many great people uh, like you all over the world, and which make uh, which makes life more beautiful. And uh, uh, just so for for those who didn't quite get it, uh, Tom is an amazing Iron Man, and I said amazing <laughs> just to kind of take it out of Mark's mouth. Uh, like uh, he's training like mad. And uh, I think you train. You have so much time to train indoors now that once you get to do the real Ironman, you're gonna win, yes. like hands down. Mm. Yes, sure. <laughs> sure. Mm. So I want to say, Astrid needs to kill her mic. Um, <laughs> what, what what you've taught us, Tom, and what what this whole Pachacha project's taught us over over 15 years is that we're a city-based organization. We we love cities. We have city organizers. We only have one per city. And we don't care if it's Guangzhou, Hong Kong, Taipei, uh, Tokyo, Kumamoto. We don't care. Cities are really, really the strongest things. And we should get rid of countries. Cities are the most important things. And, and, and that's been really moving in the, and we've always said that. This is nothing new for, for Pachacha. But I think with this, this epidemic we've got right now, it is, it, is, it is really, really important. And um, the fact that we can get together and support one another in cities, and, and, and cities may have to shut down. Countries don't have to shut down. And I think this issue they've got with the US right now, the, the, the whole of the US doesn't have to sh shut down, but maybe the states do. And um, what, what's going on here in Tokyo? We're, we're, we're flat here. I think it may be flat with you. It's flat in maybe in, in Wuhan. And, and, and also the fact that one of our staff, one of our protection interns uh, was in Wuhan. She got caught in Wuhan for 76 days lockdown. But, but through the Pachacho Create platform, which Astrid and Hissa will talk about in a minute, um, could make a presentation from there and voice it and share it. It is really amazing. And I think this has become a really a, a turning point for, for Pachacho. So thank you, Tom. And I was on, I was on a, an, an amazing, call last night i had no idea what was going on tom to start with but we had a wechat so explain yes. a little bit what went on we had a wechat thing with a hundred wechat groups uh around china say mm -hmm. a little bit about that for me yes last night you know we we are celebrate the the world book and copyright day so we organized a special event with other organizations, uh, with the um, 100 the bookstores in China, in different city. So it's, um, we also use the WeChat group way, use the robots to, you know, to um, make our voice and the pictures and the uh, videos to other groups, WeChat groups at the same time, very, very, you know, very, very good way. So um, today, yeah, it's amazing. Today, I got a lot of uh, feedback from the from the uh, uh, different cities, uh, the people. They want to ask uh, me to give them your presentation because they want to launch in their uh, <laughs> the you know, media media platform, media channel. So I will give them. They, they love your presentation. And the, so another, you, another amazing thing is they know the first time they know there's the PK create. That amazing. So uh, yes, I, I will use I will use this uh, uh, very often, and I will show this way to Guangzhou the PKM fans. <laughs> you know, indeed. And this is not a this is not a sales pitch, but uh, no, no, not sales. Twenty five minutes, twenty five minutes to go before this thing. Tom says, you know, you have to voice your presentation as a well <laughs> video. So yeah. I so I made my presentation. I uploaded it to PK Create. I voiced mm -hmm. it downloaded the video and sent it to Tom and that solved all the issues. It was a 20 minute process to make a very important presentation. Mm -hmm. So Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for always supporting. The thank picture, you. Um, mm -hmm. and, and for inviting us over. And as I say, um, you know, we, we're all in a very difficult situation here. Yes. And your support's always been extremely positive and let's, let's go cities. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> thank you. Sure. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. So, so <laughs> here we go, Brian. So, okay. So we have to take a little bit of a step back here and explain that Pachacta has been running for 17 years. 
And for the last four years, we've had five. a formidable person five. in the office. Right, five. five. Sorry, five. Is it that quick? Oh my god. Uh, we've had a formidable force in the office. And without Brian's dedication and passion, uh, Pachacha would not be where it is today. And this event tonight would not be where it is without Brian uh, diligently working out how we can stream out. Although we've had a few issues, we don't blame Brian. It, it, it's, just, it's just tech, okay? But Brian is, uh, as, as Sean, our CEO in Chicago says, he's mighty Brian. Oh, and uh, Brian is nice. very mighty, and uh, I'm going to cry in a minute, so I'm going to stop that. Yeah. So, right. Brian, over why to you. Why don't I take it over? Why don't I take it over? And the way that we connected, we connected through the uh, the 311. Uh, I'm going to cry, actually. We connected through the 311 disaster, and I'm so glad you're here, Brian. So, over to you, man. I'm so <laughs> flat. Thank you for those kind words, Mark. Very kind words. I, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It's very, very, very kind. You're going to make me emotional. So I was doing fine, Mark, until you kind of, you know, and, and I got a whole bunch of uh, heartstrings in this presentation. So bear with me. Oh, man. Sorry. All I'm right. Cheating. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to cheat and just say, take a, one second to say um, thank you to everybody. I'm, it's, it's such an honor to be um, alongside so many uh, inspiring people. So I'm very grateful for all of your presentations tonight. It's very cool to be part of this, part of this night. So off we go. Okay, so I'm Brian Peterson. I'm Brian Scott Peterson because there's like 14 other Brian Petersons who are all photographers. And I'm going to talk tonight about my other passion, uh, which is photography, which is how I did, as Mark mentioned, how I did come to, to, uh, to Pachacucha. And um, it was started because of this project that <clears throat> my friend and I started together called Photo Hoku. And it was a volunteer photo giving project that uh, was born out of a wish to go up to uh, use our skills, use our talents, and to go and try to make the a terrible situation better. So me and my friend, uh, we just like on a whim went to this de the devastated regions with um, our cameras and we thought we'd bring the, our instant photos with us <clears throat> and um, our instant cameras, these old film cameras, and that way we'd be able to give the give the people living there the photos immediately. Basically what we do is we go up to the temporary housing areas, we walk around, we make these Polaroid photos that we can gift to the people immediately. Uh, Fujifilm was very generous and, and provided us an endless supply of film. Another company called Nakabayashi gave us a bunch of photo albums. A bunch of people around the world did, uh, donated old cameras to us. And we basically made this project that we could get people's photo lives back on track so the um what started out as a little as a little small project we went once we suddenly realized <laughs> we suddenly realized we were we tapped into something pretty special and uh yeah it it's an ongoing project uh we've we've gifted over twenty thousand of these instant photos and we've given uh hundreds and thousands of hundreds couple hundred photo or a couple thousand photo albums I'm, I've lost count and and it, and it continues on and that's one of the special things about the project is that we go back and every time we go back we find these amazing stories and uh, going back is an important part of this project and this woman uh, is one of the stories that we heard about she said that uh, having lost her daughter she was the most miserable person in the temporary housing area and but we, we snapped her in a moment in a smile and she insisted that uh, she was gonna hold on to the photo and, and, and it would carry her through this. This is a photo of a woman who rather that we tried to persuade her to take these, the photo by this beautiful mountain backdrop, but she insisted to have it taken in front of her house because she wanted to remember what she had to overcome and show her family. So it was stories like this that made us realize that it wasn't just photos that we were giving. It was a, it was a, it was a much bigger project and receiving as well. And we've, We've repeated the project seamlessly in a few other places, including my hometown in Oklahoma, where there's tornadoes, uh, in the Philippines, uh, where there was the giant tsunami, as well as Taiwan, Hong Kong, Korea, Australia. And we've used the, our photo, um, our photography skills to do other projects. This is a fundraising effort that we made on World Suicide Prevention Day. We rallied the posse to climb up Tokyo Tower with us. And when we got up there, <coughs> anybody who 
uh, <laughs> anybody who joined us at the top got a, a photo. So anyway, it was a, a very special project. This, in the time of COVID, uh, you know, I'm wondering, okay, how do we take what we've learned in these, well, how do we take our methods? How do we take these, these experiences that we've had in the photo giving project and apply it to this particular moment? So I've been thinking really hard about this and I haven't had a whole lot of success until a couple of days ago. I think I might've landed on something. I was trying to figure out how to get my camera, how to get photos and how to do something good, good with those photos. And, um, you know, I was calling this, uh, this is classic Brian storming is what I call this. So after uh, a couple of weeks of uh, going in circles of a way that I, we might find out, you know, a way that we might be able to uh, have a solution for this. I, I thought about like making house calls, like a doctor, like going to uh, bringing my camera to people's houses and photographing there. I've seen people doing that, but I don't think that's uh, a totally viable situation because of how contagious this situation is. Um, but then I remembered something my mother was telling me that they, she had a barbecue or a cocktail party out on the driveway with the neighbors across the street. And I started thinking about taking photos of people from across the street. And you, I think you've probably seen some of these online some some people have been doing these initiatives already and uh i thought well that i've got a lot of those kinds of photos i've uh i've been i've shot people on their porches and on their patios and that would be a great um experience to do but then that that limits me to um you know i, I don't think I'd, it would be smart to go inside people's homes uh, obviously like taking a, a photo from them across the street is okay but then you still have to pass off the photo and things like this so still kind of thinking about it, but I'm, I, I'm thinking about like these, these moments that we have sitting on our own sofas, sitting on our own porches and how those tend to be maybe more sentimental and more special than when we go to the studio or we go on location to have some official family portrait made. Maybe these casual moments of us just sitting on our sofas are, uh, maybe that should be our focus. So I started this other project not too long ago called Picture in a Frame, where I just made this sofa uh, experience where people could come and they could sit on the sofa and have their photo made with this big giant instant camera. And basically the you get one photo and the photo's in a frame. And um, so that's the project, it's called Picture in a Frame. You come in, you get one shot, we do it, we make it with the big Polaroid and we put it on the, we put it in a frame and you will go home with a frame. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna ask everybody to, to do is to make a photo, go for it. Make a photo on your, on your, at your home, of your family, of yourself, of your friends, who's, who's ever at your, your quarantine with, send it to me and we'll put it in a photo frame and we'll put that photo frame up on our Instagram here and um, you'll be included in this, uh, you'll be included in this stream. And then what we can do is we can, uh, I think my slide's stuck here. I'm going to the next one. So I've made uh, on picture in a frame, I made a new link that says photo home. That's what I'm gonna call this project. And uh, you can just go to picture in a frame and you'll see the link for photo home and you can just add your email. And, and I encourage you to just make a photo of yourself, make a, it can be anything. It can be you with a mask on, it can be you by yourself. It can be with an iPhone, it can be on a tripod. It can be anything you want it to be to, to commemorate this moment. So you can look back at these photos uh, a year from now or 10 years from now, and remember that you know this special time was actually a moment that we all got to come together and this photo can be a reminder of that. So- no, no, put the timing on these. You need okay, to the all right. On. So good. that's the project, Photo Home. Check it out, have fun, stay creative Tokyo, get involved, go check it out. And um, together we'll get through this. Thanks so much. Woo! Yay, Brian, okay. actually. Woo! Brian has always a knack of taking uh, real nice photos because they're not necessarily <laughs> staged. And he has an eye for kind of capturing just the right moment when when people look at their best. Uh, it's, mm. it's, uh, it's a rare talent. And, uh, and uh, Brian knows that because we've gone through a lot of photographers and, uh, you know, uh, but uh, honestly, you know, the, the, the photos that Brian takes, they are they, they, they are much more lively. They are, they, they're, they're full of it. And um, so uh, him encouraging everybody to take their own photographs is like, a, I don't know, it must be tough for him to say. But uh, anyway, he loves, uh, he loves all photographers. If everybody could be a photographer, he'd be, he'd be so happy. <laughs> 
it's like it's like Lewis kind of wanting uh, all the architects becoming uh, you know illustrators <laughs> or, or, or <laughs> artists. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I really encourage you. It doesn't matter so much like the process of it. It doesn't matter if, if, you, if it's, a, it's a fantastic photo, send it to me. We'll do a retouch of it. We'll make it really special. We'll put it on a frame. We'll add it to the gallery and go from there. So please join us. Photo home. Check it out. Yes. <laughs> photos are important all the time. I, uh, you actually okay. already convinced me a little bit. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm taking uh, photographs of my husband who is really reticent. I mean, getting him <laughs> on the photograph. So I'm, I'm photographing his back a lot these days. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah I, I okay. think so too. Anything, so. Mass. That's him. That's him. He's he 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 likes to be photographed from the back. That's okay. Tokyo, there are great <laughs> architects, Thanks. creative photographers, and I I found a, a, a sketch. Oh wow! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I got so uh, nice pictures from Brian and so a, a beautiful project from Astrid and Mark and Yugi <laughs> Nari and, and such a, a beautiful uh, sketch from Louis. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank yeah. yeah. Thank you for framing it. That's a, that's a true honor, uh, Thomas. Uh, that's <laughs> a really, really wonderful picture. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, we can't go around my corner uh, uh, the, where the um, where my desk is because otherwise uh, you'd uh, you'd see a lot of uh, uh, sketches and uh, postcards that we received from Lewis over the over the years. So uh, uh, I'm just saying, just having them there. They're not maybe not exactly framed, but they're all there. <laughs> I cannot show you, but I am drawing now everyone as we speak. Oh, oh, nice. oh, wow. <laughs> Make okay. it good. Make it good, Luis. Make it good. Okay. So, so, so uh, Brian and I still have a sync issue. On, so, uh, on, yeah. So I'm you know. going to, I, I, oh, so, well, Brian, Brian, why don't we just go around? The, I think the best thing to do right now is to go around everybody. And, and, and I have them. a presentation for do you. Yeah. You want to, I have a, I have your presentation loaded up for Hisa and okay. Mark, for Hisa and Astrid. Okay. Why don't you go for that, man? Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, I love you, may... I love you so much. <clears throat> um, really? Uh, is it yeah. still actual? I, I, for some reason, there was a few slides missing. So I've just made a, I've made a new one for you, so it's going to be a full of surprises. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll it's be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, Astrid. Don't worry. There's no uh, there's no surprises in there. So yeah. you you ready? There's to no take pictures of your husband, Astrid. Yeah. Do we still do this in Japanese? Yeah. Yes, uh, please. Go on okay. Hoge. Go on Hoge. Yeah, okay. Hi. Okay. He's so okay. Let me unmute Hi, right okay. Now. All right. Here Just we go. Watching. Ready, guys? Uh, okay. Yeah. All Maybe right. It's let's get you. All right, just one last little detail. Let me put a thank <laughs> you slide see. in there. Okay, here That's we go. That's why we love Pachacha. Okay. Okay. Brian, the mighty I'm Brian. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. The mighty Brian. Mighty fun. Brian, in it. We need a cap. Mighty Brian. Okay. Off we go. Okay. All right, ask the user. Hi. Okay, go for it, guys. Okay. Hi, Deva, Kombamba, Moikaite, Kono presentation, the challenge, Shimasu, Ano, Saisho Karamita, Stotachite, Mo Irukamoshiranaite, is Ato de Sanka, Sterus to Tachi, Mo Arukamoshirana in the Ska, Eto, Watakshiva, Klein Daisam Architects, no Klein Des, the Ishoni, Ano, Hisayama, the Hisayama Des. Hi. なんか目立ってるので、え、ワコビールのあの、斜め反対にあるので、いつもあの、ワコビールで多分やっぱりなんかに長いよ。長いよね。20秒って全然長いよね。はい、すいません。なんかまたこのプレゼンテーションうまく
こ,これではないんですが、うん、えっ、ー、とあのマークはちょうど今あの逃げたので、えー、逃げた<笑>あのフィ,フィジカルブレイク、えー、ですか、えー、マークのプレゼンテーションは not the one that we want again えっ、ー、とですね、えーまあ、じゃあ,あの、スライドなしで、ヘサと。あ<笑>じゃあ話す<笑> ?OK、いいよ。インスパイアって何でしょうねっていう。<笑>そう多分、全然日本の人ってインスパイアの話知らないと思うんですけど。もしかして、ペチャクチャも知らないかもしれないね。かもしれないですね、見てる人は。うん。はい。で、でまあ、ペチャクチャは、あの、えー、20枚のスライドで、20秒ずつで、えっ、ー、と、あなんか短めなプレゼンテーションであるんですね。うん、で、それをなんか世界中に広がってきたんですけれども、あの、えーえー、2003年から今まで、えー、と1227都市にあの広がってきたんですね。で、いつもこんなにクリエイティブな人たちっていっぱいいると、やっぱりなんかその、あのクリエイティブパワーってなんかもっといい目的に何か使ったらいいなと思ったんですがでそれをあの、えー、なんか、えー、ハイティの,あの地震が起きた時ですよね、えー、地震が起きた時があの、えー、なんかやっぱりこうみんなで、えー、スポートしようとで24時間でえー、世界中のペチャクチャシティでもう本当にペチャクチャマラソンでつながってて一日でやったイベントですよねそうですねでなんかそれの支援であのまたアーキテクチャとフォーヒューマニティ、えーえー、つないで、えー、あのハイティの方で、えー、学校を作ったんですねであのそういうのってやってえー、結局あ,のあとは、えー、だあの日本の,あのだ2000東日本大震災の時ですね、はい、2011年。はい、でなんかあの、えー、やっぱり世界中で日本から大勢な人がインスパイアされてて、うんえー、なんかデザインとかファッションとかアニメとかなんかあのやっぱりその。あ大変な時日本の大変な時でまた、うん、あのインスパイアされたらあの逆インスパイアされたらあのいいなと思ったんですがインスパイアってそう日本語だと勇気づけるとか元気づけるとかっていう意味なので、うん、あのこの時は世界中の人たちから日本を元気づけてもらったっていうイベントです、ねうん、そうですねあのまたいっぱいイベントがあってでみんな素晴らしいポスターを作ってたりとかでまたあの、えー、いっぱいドネーションで集まってきて、えーもう一回でアーキテクチャとあのフォーヒューマニティとあのつながってあとはあの、えー、日本の,あのみんなの家の NPO とあの、えー、ななんかあのみんなの家を作ったんですねさっき言って、えー、なんか写真で見えてきたんです,、ねですね、サッカースタジアムが出てましてねはいはい、えー、野球野球,野球ですよあこれ野球か野球か<笑>そうごめん<笑>はいでえっ、ー、と、えー、まあそのインスパイアのチャンネルってそこからで、えー、生まれたんですねやっぱりこの世界中の,あのプレゼンテーションとかまああの、えー、大震災の,あのいろいろ起こってるんですがまあす,すぐあのレスキューする人たちがえー、よくあの話されてるんですけれどもでもあの結局あのそこからリ,リコンストラクションするとかあのリビルドするのは長いプロセスなんですね。でなかなかあのそういう話ってなんか出てこないんですね。でもそうです、ねうんうん、いっぱいポジティブなあのストーリーがあるので、でそれをあのどうぞ、ひさ私より上手に説明する<笑>そう
った多分震災とかそういうあのことが起きた時って結構長い時間いろんな人がいろんな関わりの中であのポジティブなメッセージを送ってくれるんだけどもそれがなかなかやっぱり伝わらないのであのそういったメッセージをこのペチャクチャのクリエイあのペチャクチャのチャンネルの方にまとめてあのもっと後の方から例えば別の場所で何か起きた時でも後になってもあのそのいろんなエピソードとかそのいろんなソリューションが知られるようにチャンネルを作りました。
actually, you know, that was in the middle of uh, Super Deluxe, hundreds of people around. <laughs> this time, you know, I see you guys on the screen, it's like family or something. It's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this has, this does. It, it's not easier, Alex. It's harder, much harder. <laughs> 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 yeah. He just makes it look easier for everybody else. <laughs> it's harder. It's actually harder. Right. It's interesting. It's interesting that the 20 slides, 20 seconds format works really well because if we were trying to show video, video does not compute on this platform. So the, the, the still images is really, really important. And um, I, 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 I'm actually really crying here. It's, it's kind of What's emotional. up with you? But, but, no, it's emotional to connect. It's emotional to connect with Alex, <laughs> oh. and also with Lewis, and also with Brian. that's just around the corner. But look, I, Astrid and I have been running for Chacho for seventeen years, and this is a, a, a major, major step forward and, and in a different direction because cities. Are, you know, countries, as I said before, countries are a disaster, but cities are the, the potential. Oh, oh, okay, okay, Mark, let's go the rounds. Sam. Uh, Sam's yeah. singing. Yeah. yeah. Are you still there, Sam? Oh, cool, Sam, are you still there? man. That was awesome. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah. I, you know, this is the, I've done a couple of live uh, Pechakachas, one at Super Deluxe and, uh, I think I, I think we played music for that Haiti uh, earthquake night. Yes, that could yeah. well be. Yeah, yeah, Mor yeah. Me and Morgan and yes, some, maybe some other yes, musicians. Yes. Um, and then another one that would, uh, which was at uh, some kind of big design festa, big stage thing where I did the the poems that uh, accompany the photos I used to take of people passing by, mm. uh, advertisements and interacting with uh, those um, advertisements unknowingly. Oh, yeah. yeah, but uh, but those, you know, th now we, we've moved into this sort of online version and I think it works pretty seamlessly. You know, I mean, the, of course, uh, uh, the, the events at Super Deluxe have, have been wonderful and a lot of camaraderie and friendship and nice beer and everything. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is different. But at the same time, the format of, of uh, Pachakcha seems to work, you know, just fine, like you say, uh, online. And I think it's interesting also what Yuka-san had to say about uh, how quickly everybody's getting used to this. I mean, um, I know, I, I guess we've all gotten used to it pretty, pretty damn quickly, you know? I mean, and we're gonna have to, and uh, might as well make the most of it, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Mm. I think, um, just like you said, that we have to get used to it quickly. And, we never thought that we would connect our cities together like we are at the moment, you know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And, International, really. Uh, and it's pretty <laughs> amazing, you know. The fact that I can get... I can uh, excuse get me, intercity, intercity, not international, sorry. <laughs> intercity. <laughs> intercity. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, Tamura-san, what you're up to? Tell us a little bit about it. How do you think about, I mean, it is not the first Pachakcha night for, for you and Sylvia either. Uh, how, what did you think about tonight? Well, this time, I think uh, the best thing, uh, can you hear me? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can. Ah. I think it's muted. No, open. No, it's muted. It's muted. There you okay. go. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. You no, know, the best thing is uh, that uh, Sylvia participated to this like, presentation because uh, <laughs> I, you know, we talk always, uh, let's do it together or Sylvia should do, should make a presentation. And he never said uh, yes. <laughs> this time I was so busy <laughs> to make a different Zoom uh, classes at the university. Ah, right. And uh, she helped uh, this presentation a lot. And in the end, she said, okay, I'll do half of the presentation. <laughs> so it was a uh, thank you for coronavirus and uh, protection night. Oh my God. <laughs> this is uh, her debut, you know. 
Mm -hmm. Right, well, right. And thank you very much. You've done, thank you've you. done a good thank job. Thank you, Carvey. You've done a good job, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Sylvia is such great fun. And yes, she's yeah, yeah. volunteering uh, uh, yeah. when uh, uh, when we have the uh, Pachakcha yes, night. Yes, she loves Pachakcha night. Uh, yes, and she's <laughs> yes. absolutely right, you know. She it's loves. Uh, you know, it's it's good fun, and then you get to go do. She's a great dancer. She's a great, <laughs> and uh, that's the best part about Pachacha okay. Night. You get to dance uh, afterwards uh, to DJ Bemsha, mm -hmm. and um, so uh, that's that's a that's a fun part as well. Thank you. Um, so, thanks. Uh, yeah, we should. You know, it's uh, d connecting this way is one is is one way, but you know. Uh, as soon as uh, as soon as uh, as we can, I think we go dancing re for real. Thank outside. you, thank yeah. you, thank you. But Nothing I like this that. format as well. Yeah. yeah, this is fantastic. Because yeah, I I cannot Great. feel so much difference. Great medium. Actually. No, mm. because I I've been thinking always that uh, the distance is more mental than physical. Mm. Ooh. So yeah, <laughs> you yeah, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> You've been uh, yeah. close. I, I'm trying to, to tell floor. my dad that, but he doesn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this is a different story. It's too far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but anyway. Thank you, anyway, for this Thank uh, you. beautiful Thank opportunity. You. I love so much. Yeah. And we can feel together. Hi, Touch Kawasan. You still Touch here? Kawasan. Yes, oh, I'm here. So <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> to my <Yes>. mobile. <laughs> Thank you for today. Hi, Sashi Buri ni Pechakcha Night or Yatte Do Data? Come to think about that, uh, my first participation for Pechakcha is about yeah. 2003, maybe. Yeah, yeah, started yeah. at 2003. Right, and yeah. I, I've joined Volume 3, so yeah, I'm sure that, <laughs> and <laughs> that I was just a university student and Mark was lecturer of that university. Right. Uh, I would say that, yeah, it was quite exciting, quite small event, but uh, it's great that now it's Pechakcha is global. Mm. And now this is a sad time for Pechakcha inspired show. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. for, for me, it's a kind of momentum. Yeah, for keep participating volume three. <laughs> <laughs> ah, three. <laughs> volume three, three and three. <laughs> three, and three. And yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, I, I hope to become this Inspire, particularly Inspire would become, would become great huge event in maybe 70 years later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have to tell a little story tonight. Okay, so. We've been chatting to everybody. This has been done in a really, really short period of time, like two or three days. So I've been, I've been sending these mails to Touch of Kawasan and then at like three o'clock this afternoon, I have no email from him. I have no idea there's a presentation going on. And uh, luckily he's been getting my emails but was not responding. And we have a, the most important presentation tonight of, of you know, <laughs> Uh, of, of using a face mask, uh, just a, a very simple <laughs> thing. Yeah, everybody has in their office. And I want to thank you so much for, 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 for breaking time. I was so nervous, as everybody knows, if you saw what was going on behind the scenes. Uh, but that's so a sorry. great thing about Pachakcha. <laughs> that's, no, no, that's a great thing about Pachakcha. We're not professional. We're not CNN. We're not, uh, you know, we're not the Times newspaper. This is what makes Pachakcha Pachakcha. And Brian, who's been uh, diligently working behind the scenes to push this out onto all the platforms, has done a really, really great job. So, Tashikawa-san, your little face mask project, I'm going to do that one more time here without cutting it properly. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> make a difference. Uh, I need to bring that uh, <laughs> in different loops. Uh, can you, are you able to do that right now? Can you cut it? On... Oh, yes, yes. Okay, oh, let me let me find the thing. What's this? <laughs> He's going to do this right now. So this is it. Look, this is the guy who invented a million views of this. Here we go. Here this we is go. a paper. Oh, can you see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. let me let me turn off my background. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I I'm crying already. 
Now you can see. Brian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, can you pin? Yeah. Can you pin Tachikawa san? Brian, can you pin Tachikawa san? Huh? Hold on one sec. Give, give us one second. Tachikawa san, give us one second. I, I can't see the. Can you give me? Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, good. That's great. Yeah, good. That's much better. That's great. Tom, yeah. get away. Uh, you can download. Yeah. Okay. This. Great. Great. And uh, you know that uh, yeah, I'm sure you have some of these kind of yeah uh, uh, folders. Yeah, in, in somewhere in your house. And uh, please confirm that it's clear <laughs> for seeing that. <laughs> and uh, if you can, uh, if you cut off the three lines. Oh, uh, can you see? Can you hear? Here, uh, can you, yeah. Uh, here yeah. and mm -hmm. here and here. Then you will make you make you will make this kind of thing. Uh, this is a kind of prototype, so yeah, a little bit a little bit too thin, but uh, you can just wear it like this. Oh, oh man, that's yeah, so pretty. that's so incredible! And I I was trying to tell my wife this that you need just an A4 folder, a couple of cuts, and, it, and she said, no, you would need some tape. To connect the things it's around the really back, but you don't need it. You are such a genius. Why? You, you have it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, actually, I, I it's wonder, already everybody... already getting popular in Japanese hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I hope to spread this to the world. <laughs> no, it's really amazing. So and well done. Exactly, oh, <laughs> it's exactly so, these so things well that we want to promote. I get excited about, and I'm, I, I thank you so much. This thank is someone that's got a million views on YouTube in the last few days, and the fact that Tachikawa san could find some time to come online tonight. Thank you so much. It's not about how many views; it's about <laughs> how about how good it is. Okay, and I want to yeah. hear a little <laughs> bit uh, from Lara. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. she's uh, she has uh, had uh, uh, quite a. I mean, you're not a, you're not a beginner to Pachakcha either, but uh, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit. Um, how, what did you think about it? Um, I'm that was my first pet Pachakcha. Um, mm -hmm. I was really afraid because it was online, so I like to speak to people. But mm -hmm. I think the thing with Zoom and stuff, I did not get used to it. I have a problem with that, so um, I'm a little bit in panic when I don't feel the people around me. <laughs> um, maybe I'm the youngest person here, but um, I think it's difficult for me, yes. Yeah, and, oh. you, yeah. You, you shouldn't be so scared because this is going to be your future. Yeah. No, uh, Thomas said <laughs> also, relax, it should be fun. Um, yeah, only nice don't people. worry. Yeah, don't worry, um, don't worry. It's, uh, it's not a big deal, uh, as you can see. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you, you're much more uh, born into technology than, than I ever was. So, uh, you know, and if, I, if I'm cool with it, so you can, you, you can kind of get used twice so fast. Twice fast. Twice. I'm losing my words yeah I, don't have, yeah, I don't have a problem with the technique, but with the feeling. Ah. I don't know. Unexplain it. Yeah. Anyway, you did a great job. You did a great job, and yeah. and again, it's much more about the the contents of what you say, and uh, um, you know, you 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 told your story really well. So uh, uh, that was that was great. You know, we wouldn't we wouldn't know about it if you didn't tell us about it. If there, you know, you we lots of people uh, wouldn't have known if you didn't uh, uh, do the presentation. So. Uh, you know, that's that's worth it. And some <laughs> <laughs> so a good point is um, that I share the link with the Indonesian people, with the students, with my host family, with the craftsmen. So right. if they know you uh, also yes. So it's oh, like win win. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> See no, that, that that's that's yeah, that's makes the world smaller in a in a in a family. As I said earlier. Uh, you know, it's um, it's making life worthwhile, really. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Astrid, let's go around your little. Uh, which way do you want to go around your window, your Brady Bunch window? Who's next? Uh, I'm I'm just going randomly. So I think uh, Thomas. 
Thomas, 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 unmute your mic. Oh, my mic. Oh, uh, where's my mic? There you go. You got it. You're on. Yeah, uh, I'm you're on. Okay, Thomas. You're, you're good. You're okay. I, I love this format, Zoom. I, I love to see you, to meet you, to talk with you. But I really love more to have a beer with you. Super Deluxe is, uh, is really fun. What a fun event. And uh, also our events in Ireland, when you have to talk really with people and to have a beer. And, and it's better. But this format, it's for this time, it's great. It's okay. People, Tom, from, I saw him one time in my life and now again, and, and Louis, and that's great. That's a great format, a great idea. And we will do it next week in Aden, the same format, 30 April with Zoom from Aden to the world. Yeah, we're, uh, Brian and I are coming <laughs> in to, 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 to really yeah. disrupt your, your event, yeah? What? <laughs> no, but thank you, Thomas. And um, it's and really great we connect. The fact that Lara's presentation was really, really insane tonight. Uh, and Lara, I get a chance. Lara will get a chance to talk uh, in front of people. Uh, yeah. Next, yeah. you'll get a chance to talk in front of people. <laughs> Thomas, right. how is Anna Maria? Is she all right? She is yeah. in the hospital actually, and I have to go oh. now. When I leave this uh, audience, I'm going to hospital now. Oh dear! All right. Uh, okay. Please do All give right. her, do say a big hello from us. Yeah. And, uh, yes. and I wish you all the best. Really do. Yeah, thank you. Uh, big. Okay. Really big happy big. when she when I say uh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm yeah, thinking of her. So um, yeah, because she's uh, she's maybe younger than Lara too, and kind of uh, doing really amazing uh, Pachakcha presentations herself. So, all right, okay. Who's Thank you, Thomas, for it? taking part. Uh, part uh, who's next? Who, who? I don't know. Have a, who? Who hasn't uh, been? Uh, Alex, Tom. Did you speak? Tom. Tom. Go over. Tom. Over to you, Tom. Okay. Thank you. I'm so happy to join this. Um, a uh, live broadcasting um, PKN, uh, and I see I met uh, uh, Thomas, especially the Louis. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so happy, and uh, I do believe next time I, when I visit uh, Tokyo, I will to date you have a drink and visit your home and a beer. <laughs> yeah, and a beer and see your baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy, and. Uh, Another thing uh, we are doing is a very, very interesting uh, exhibition. Uh, it's uh, uh, about whole China. The theme is about go home. Uh, we, we do the exhibition curator, uh, including the Jason and the Michelle and um, another good friends. I think uh, Michelle and uh, Jason, uh, uh, Mark, uh, Astrid, Brian, we, you, you meet them in Guangzhou. So we will have uh, uh, both online online exhibition and uh, offline. Uh, offline, the, the city will be in Shanghai first. So I will continue to send some information about this uh, uh, very, very special exhibition. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, yeah I look the... forward to that. <laughs> I look mm -hmm. forward to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I see the portraits I made of you? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Those are great. <laughs> That's great. Great. <laughs> wow. Uh, great, yeah. Lovely. 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 <laughs> in, in, uh, Lewis. In, uh, super deluxe. Lewis, what do you have to say? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. It would be too difficult. So. Wow. And now I work on the iPad instead of a sketchbook, so it makes it all. So you more... can send us this photo that you this picture. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I to share, but I will send it to Mark and uh, Brian. Then... Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll distribute it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, just trust unmute. Me. Yeah, just unmute. Really? Unmute. Yo. Yo. Yeah, come there you on, go. tomorrow's time.
Samura san, nani ga ari? Ana no hanashi arimasu. No, I have a question to Luis. Uh, is it possible <laughs> to use this uh, um, drawing for my SNS? Oh, Portrait? Yeah. Oh, yes, for my pro profile or. Uh, you can use it, but please just, just say, uh, give me credit and put my name and then it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You can say I did it myself, that's also okay, but uh, um, that, would, that would be a bit mean, but uh, that you can still do it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Brian Peterson. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt here because if I don't, if no, if I don't, I don't think anybody else will. I think this will just go on all yeah, night long. I'm just waiting for you, Brian. I was waiting for you, Brian. <laughs> so maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, uh, pull the rug out from all of them under, uh, underneath of all of us. I want to <laughs> say, I want to say a big thank you to everybody. And um, it was an amazing night and, and there was a lot of hiccups, but I think um, there was more passion than there were um, anything else. So. Um, I really f had the feelies a lot of times tonight, and it's just because everybody did such an um, amazing job pulling together at the last minute, and I do think this is a special um, moment, and I, I do have a feeling in my, in my gut that it's like suddenly I'm, I'm driven to, to think in new ways and to, to act in new ways and to be more wholehearted Thomas, and um, <laughs> and uh, I know that everybody else is feeling the same. So it's a it's a really cool time, and thank you all for being a part of it. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. All, all right. Thank you, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. One last thing. Thank you. One, last thing. Yeah. one last thing. One last thing. A big group photo, uh, part, like yeah. we always right. do. One group. How do we do that? We have to press bonsai bonsai photo. photo. Yeah, bonsai I can't photo. Do the Banzai, we know that's really. Hi, Louis. No, not Banzai. Louis, your hands. Okay, here we go. They're Ready? magically Three. disappearing. Tomo-chan. Oh, Tomo-chan. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Nice. One more, Banzai. one more. Three, two, one. Banzai. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 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 Brian, Hi, nice you. still talking. Thank you. Brian, Hi, nice still talking. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.